So I knew I, I knew how to act, but there's a there's a certain technique to this which is different from you know body acting, uh, face acting, as the voice uh, actors disparagingly refer to it. Oh, are you a face actor? I make more money than you, and it's just my voice. <laughs> Shut up. I'm prettier than you are. <laughs> Have you ever noticed the voiceover people are just piss ugly most of them? <laughs> well, not bad, huh? Not bad. Oh, jeez, Peter's gonna be here later. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, don't tell him, will you? He's, but you know, actually, Peter's the, Peter sounds like that. He's about three feet high. <laughs> Weirdly enough. He's got, he's got this black hair and mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, stop it. You're, you're pressing against my vital organs. <laughs> but then he took a philosophical approach to it. He thought, uh, after he thought about it for a few seconds, he, he said, <laughs> and then it was all okay. <laughs> I pass that along to you for any of you who are in frustrating situations. Do you plan on doing any voiceovers for the rumored upcoming Transformers movie? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great. Some of us are still alive. Um, in fact, quite most of the most of the original cast is absolutely. I mean, we we I've been contacted by anyone. It's still in very early stages. I'm sure they'll probably end up with Tom Cruise as Bumblebee. Okay, wait, wait, wait. How about Danny DeVito? Just paint him yellow. We can run around. Starscream, great, great character job. I mean, awesome. I watched one of the episodes the other day with my wife, just to sort of jog my memory about stuff, and boy, Chris was really good. Um, he used to sweat a lot. Chris did. And I used to pray that I didn't get put next to him. Because he's doing Starscream. And if you're standing next to him, like, the whole left side of you would be wet after the session. And you know I'm trying to explain that, you know? Well, Chris sweated on me and he was flailing around and stuff. And Bumblebee was just, there was a lot of stuff like, Hey, Optimus! I got my ass caught in a crevice! And I used to watch him reduce people to just like rumble in front of me. I mean, there'd be some like big strapping six foot actor guy, and by the end of it, he'd just be like crawl out of the booth going, I'm quitting, I'm going into aluminum siding because I can't do it. The question is, uh, did they ever approach you to do uh, Robots in the Skies, Armada, Beast Wars, Beast Machine? Once they gold plated me, I was history. <laughs> in fact, yeah, no, um, it, it was weird because the G1, the original guys, <clears throat> we did, I guess, three seasons, and you, you, you watch over the course of those three seasons as we get to do less, uh, except for Optimus and, and, and you know, the, the, the big guys, we got to do less and less and less, and there was more like, you know, there was the Cherrycon, you know, I turned into a chair, you know, <laughs> really? I turned into a thumbtack. <laughs> I, I turned into, I don't even know what I turned into, but I turned into something. <laughs> But knowing Hollywood the way I do, I swear, I, the Danny DeVito idea is not too far off base. Because look what they did with the movie. Suddenly there's Robert Stack. Orson Welles plays a freaking planet for crying out loud. His last role. I mean, there's some irony in that. Uh, if you were to come out in the new Alternator line, it's sort of like a major generation one homage. Since Volks Volkswagen won't release the license, is there any other car form that you think would fit Bumblebee uh, at all? I'd like to be a Touareg. <laughs> Just because I like saying Touareg. <laughs> Hi, I'm a Touareg. 
Uh, it would have to be a small car. Anybody got any ideas? A Mini Cooper would be great. Yeah, a Mini Cooper would be great. No, 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 no. You know? Oh, I see. All right, okay. A uh, Neon, well, a Neon, fine. Well, you know what? Maybe it should be all American because it has to do it with a British accent or something, you know? <laughs> Help! Optimus, I've got my ass stuck in a cravat! <laughs> okay, here's my impression of, uh... <laughs> what time is Peter coming? <laughs> Decepticons, eat my land. Spray of blood. <laughs> Swallow. More. That's my that's my Peter Cullen. <laughs>